Hey everyone, welcome back. I am the Electrical Code Coach, and this is the electrical question of the day. What code cycle did emergency shutdowns become a requirement for residential generators, other than cord and plug connected? And I say residential very loosely because the code requirement we're talking about today applies only to one and two family dwelling units for this type of generator. Now, when you get into a multifamily dwelling unit, there may be other requirements if it's an emergency required system or other parts of the code like over in 700. But for one and two family dwellings, you are now required in the 2020 and later to have an emergency shutdown. It must be a remote emergency shutdown that's located on the exterior of the building and it must be in a readily accessible location. You're going to find that in 445.18 part D. One thing I want to note about this, a little pro tip, is that you, if you ever see uh, shaded in in, that means it's completely new to the code. And in this case, that's what we're going to find on this code. So it'll say something like important code stuff, blah, blah, blah. And it'll have a little N next to it. That means it's a completely new code, article, section, whatever. So with that being said, I wanted you guys to know that pro tip. I am the Electrical Code Coach, and I've dedicated my life to help you become everything that you can be in life and in the electrical industry. If there's anything I can do to help you in life or business, you can always email me at electricalcodecoach at gmail.com. Let's get to it.